to talk to you real quick about sticking to your plan. And I didn't realize how important this was until we saw that big dip. Um, I have an exit strategy and it it goes along with all my different uh, altcoins, Ethereum included. So when Ethereum hit 2000, I put it out. I said, I'm selling Ethereum at 2000. I said, this is what's gonna happen. And I did it uh, because I try to do as many things I say I'm gonna do because it's important. Uh, you don't wanna listen to some guy who's like, yeah, I do all this stuff. I, I have to do it. So. When this came about, I was like, man, that's, you know, I didn't think it was going to go up this, this fast. But look what happened. As soon as it hit 2000, 2058 or 2100, I don't know what it came out, 102, it went right back down. And now we're, we're teetering at about 15 or 1600. So even when you think you're, you're making a mistake, sometimes it just, you know, timing just works out. Not like you're some Nostradamus, but that's my plan. My plan is to cash out. And then this was a video we did about my seven pillars of, uh, of exit strategy. I'm going to keep 10% in cash, 25% are going to stable coins, 15% in land, 20% into investment properties, 10% in the Amazon FBA business, 15% into staking, and 5% into my IRA. And I wish I could do more because when I put it into iTrust, uh, I've, I've got a lot of Ethereum and Polkadot now that uh, once they allow staking in quarter two, then I don't get taxed on the staking rewards. And actually, Shean talked about that in the AMA, so check that out. But uh, this video, I'll try to link in the, uh, in, the, in the description as well. If not, you can always go over to danteachescrypto.com, this website that's always spinning, that it's 100% free. I made it free because I think people need to learn about this stuff. They don't need to pay me anything. I don't know where you're at. If you're in the United States, probably can afford a little bit. But what if you're in like uh, India or Sub-Saharan Africa? Uh, I don't want you to pay anything. So just go there. It's 100% free. And over there, that video is, uh, is in uh, module five investing. So I talk about this because, see this 20% right here? So what I did with that, card, uh, that Cardano, that Ethereum that I sold, uh, we put it into our investment property. This is uh, from my Twitter feed. And uh, it's just a small little house here in Houston, uh, over by Jersey Village area, in the area. And um, you know, you have to understand that, of course, Cryptocurrency is going to go to the moon. And everything's going to be great. Sure, sure, sure. Right. But what if it's not? What if something is a big stumbling block or something happens? So, like, I like to diversify. And I want to just preface it with this uh, this is my strategy. This does not have to be, this isn't your strategy. So, this is the only thing that works for me. And you, uh, again, are totally different from me and you're able to do whatever you want to do. But for me, this is what makes sense uh, just buying investment properties, fixing them up and putting them on Airbnb. And we've actually did uh, a video specifically on Airbnb and how to, to cash out and, and uh, get an Airbnb and actually find the right location by using a website called AirDNA and the things that you have to do to get things ready. And uh, on top of this, not only is, is, uh, are these investment properties, you know, they're pretty good as far as money making, but they're also uh, good for tax deductions, you know, as far as like the depreciation value of the home, um, reducing uh, for the actual uh, interest that you have to pay, the taxes that you have to pay for the city, state, and local government. So uh, there's a lot of different things that you can do with, with property that you can't do with crypto. And uh, that's why I diversify. So just want to tell you that uh, if, if you have a plan in place, just stick to your plan, whatever that is, and then make sure that it works for you. Anyhow, let me just think of the comment section, and then let's move on to our last piece.